don't ask that question, Mango. Like so many other peoples before me, I'm going to drive for the queen of the road today in a very, very, very special Volvo. I hope you're going to like that. I already do. I spent literally one minute with it so far and I love everything about it. Well, you all know what's going to happen now. Let's start the intro video. Hi guys and welcome to a, to me at least, very very special live stream. The truck behind me here is owned by a person, I wish I could tell you the person's name. I'm not going to do that because I'm not authorized to do it. Perhaps the person will step forward and tell you who it is. And in that case I'll, well, say it too. But for now, this truck is created specially designed by a person who is here tonight and who is also uh, who actually has this truck IRL 
this truck exists in real life and although it doesn't necessarily look exactly like it does here especially the paint job and so but it does exist so it's very special for that person and of course it's very special to me she he whoever it is allowed me to use it tonight there's no link to it of course it's private but it's a beautiful beautiful volvo uh, let's have a look at it uh there it is isn't that fantastic i've probably been missing some configuration on this truck uh but um well yeah i did the best i could i included that as well even though i'm not a queen uh, but the truck belongs to the queen of the roads so uh, there it is uh, let's take a listen to it it sounds more or less stock and i'm assuming it is stock but of course i bet i bet you haven't seen a truck like this before there we go <laughs> let's have a look at the interior um uh, oh that reminds me my uh headset isn't really set up to take a look around the interior i come to realize uh, it isn't stuck. It is, it's way, way clearer. Let's see if we can do something about that. <coughs> uh, I really want to show you the interior. Uh, so let's see. Is it possible to disable eye tracking and then use the mouse right off? Yes, it is. So here it is. Steering wheel will probably give the truck creator away. Some of you have seen that logo before um other than that i've added a gps other than that it's all stock as it was delivered to me it is stock sounds there we go and for the evening by the way be very very careful Carlio has admin powers tonight so um watch out <laughs> it's low oh Oh, that logo. No, that isn't Pavel, but that's another. Well, anyway. Uh, I could make a similar truck, but it's green with Norway mall company I used to drive IRL. Well, Richard, do it. We need more trucks like this custom made. Uh, I, I love it already. I saw this truck probably two years ago and i didn't dare to do it at the time but about a year ago at least six months ago i kindly asked could i use your truck on the stream never got a response really uh until yesterday evening um where when i jumped onto discord i had an, a message and in that message there was a link <laughs> a download link to the truck so here we are today and we're gonna haul on a map I haven't been on for a very long time, EBR or Estrada do Brasil. So yeah, this is a Brazilian map, but it isn't EAA. It's a standalone uh, Brazilian map. There's more information and even my truck review of the map in the video description. It is a one to 10 scale map and I haven't been here in a very long time. Last time I visited this map was back on 132, I think it was. And as you can see, yeah, I visited the cities, but I haven't driven here, which I have. So this tells you a lot about how much they have made changes to this map. Basically, it's this here, this road here, that tiny piece of road there and this. That's all the roads I've been on on this map in its current version uh, of course back on 1.32 i hold a lot on this map uh, so i guess this is going to be as much a surprise to me as it is to you when we start hauling with this truck and discover ebr uh, oh i need to um get my head tracker going again Let's just make sure that it's still, yeah, my head tracking and disabled. Excellent. So let's get started. Uh, first haul, oh, first haul is cheese, 23 tons. Uh, 
And Collier told me that the truck uh, weighs 31 ton in itself. So 23 tons there plus the truck's 31 tons. The reason the truck is so heavy is simply because it's simulating cargo uh, in the rigid part of the truck as well. So 54, 55 tons in total. Um, I'm too getting uh, used to me streaming every day, Extremer. Uh, and yeah, you know, uh, I, I really enjoy it. I want to do it every day. So I'm thinking I'm going to do another one tomorrow again uh, already. Um, assuming, of course, that this is as much a success as yesterday's stream was. And I'm not talking about you guys. Uh, it's very nice to have you here. And I'm appreciating all the... Uh, likes and subscriptions and all of that but for me mainly because of how traumatizing the last couple of months have been with streams not working um i was relieved seeing it worked yesterday i hope it will work just as well today and um if it does i'm definitely gonna do another one tomorrow <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, this map is a 1 to 10 scale map. It's absolutely free of charge. Uh, you may download it and start using it tonight if you like. There's a link to it in the video description, of course. Uh, what else is there to say? I'm not really sure about the size. To be honest, I had very little time to prepare. As I said, uh, even as we were counting down to start the stream, I s said I have had one minute, literally one minute, uh, driving this truck prior to this live stream. And the reason for that is I have a ton of things to do at work. I got off the phone and my last call at 5.30, 30 minutes ago. <laughs> and then I could start preparing. So, um... Rip Wombat, why? <laughs> uh, convoy, of course, we need to talk a little bit about the convoy. Uh, news since yesterday, I have the um, link to the convoy up and running. So that you can now tell us that you're going to join. Uh, please use that link. Please tell us you will join. We're going to need a total of 100 people to say they will join before we can request a private server. And since we're doing the convoy in California and California only. So that we don't have to worry about DLCs and things like that. We will need a private server. Because otherwise, we're going to be on the standard server. And who has no DLCs and plays truckers and PLOTs? We don't want to play there. <laughs> Hi, Marion. Uh, Richard, it does feel uh, different when you're holding a tandem. The steering is heavier. Uh, responds differently uh, as you would expect I guess you're very oh is that why you're defended Xperia I also said that I didn't have an I can't remember exactly how I phrased it but uh, no you're very, very important. Of course, you're the most important. You're the reason I'm doing this, Xperior. You and everyone else watching. I'm not really sure I would live stream anything if no one wanted to watch it. So, um, no, you are crucial to this operation. Me live streaming. Uh, this is the stock sound, uh, not a fool man. Mango, shut the fuck up. <laughs> we don't want dislikes. So if you don't mention dislikes, we might not get any. 
<laughs> uh, speaking of uh, live streams, tomorrow uh, I'm thinking of doing a live stream on RC Brazil, another Brazilian map. But it's a very, very nice map, and I hope you're okay with me doing a live stream on another Brazilian map tomorrow. Please let me know if you aren't, because then I'm going to have to start looking for something else. If you don't object, I'm going to do RC Brazil tomorrow. Uh, no, Panda Mom is not watching the stream. She's watching uh, something on HBO. So she's on HBO right now. Don't worry about it. This map seems weird. Uh, if I remember correctly, this map still do not require any map DLCs. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure you can get away without using any map DLCs on this map. And that might be why you feel it uh, is weird. No, this is EBR, Estradas do Brasil. This is not a North Brazil map. There's like 20, literally 20 different standalone Brazilian or South American map mods out there for ETS2 that are being updated. <laughs> uh, there's a ton of them. <laughs> Estradas do Brasil. <laughs> si, senor. <laughs> Hasta la vista. No, I don't speak Spanish. I don't speak Portuguese. Uh, I've, I, I just... I like the way it sounds. Estradas do Brasil. <laughs> Thank you, Marion. <laughs> Je t'aime Volvo. <laughs> That's the French I know. <laughs> All of it. Hi Arby, welcome. <laughs> yes Eggman, that's what I said in French. <laughs> why, why a cheese and ham? Were you offended by my French or my Portuguese slash Spanish? <laughs> Allow me to um, offend you in German as well, then. Uh, ein Bier bitte, and that's it. I can also say zwei Bier bitte and dry beer, and that's about it. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> no, unfortunately I can't offend anyone in Hungarian. <laughs> Although I do think I'm pretty good at murdering languages. <laughs> your basic human rights have now been removed. Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, by the way, I think that ETS2 1.39 beta is out, actually. Um, it wasn't out this morning, but I saw some information about the beta just literally seconds before I started the stream. So it might be out now. And uh, in that case, uh, I'm gonna 
try to stream using something on um, 139 tomorrow on ETS2 that is it's out truckers MP <laughs> yeah I'm gonna try to stream on truckers MP using 139 tomorrow <laughs> Exterior Limited? I think that's pretty close. Uh, Mercedes 1113, yeah. Show me a good Merc 1113 mod and I'll use it. Unfortunately, I don't know of anyone that's actually good. I've seen a couple that looks good on the outside, or one at least that looks good on the outside, but inside is absolutely horrible. <laughs> Oh, my bad, Xperior. I said Extremer. I obviously meant Xperior. I do apologize sincerely, sir. Uh, that will probably happen again, but I'm going to try to avoid it. Uh, I do apologize. There is one high level mod, uh, Kirk, of the uh, Merc 1113. If you could put up a link to uh, to it on the Discord server, perhaps, that would be awesome. I'll definitely take a look at it. Thank you, Extremer. <laughs> ah, me so funny. Thanks, Kirk. Really appreciate that. What did I have to eat today? Uh, a couple of sandwiches around 12. I've been in meetings since 8 this morning uh, till 5.30 this afternoon so I really haven't had time to, to eat anything except for a couple of uh, sandwiches. <coughs> Uh, Angelina, I'm assuming you're referring to the Swedish trucker girl. I do not watch her on YouTube. And um, neither would you if she was a guy. <laughs> um, with that said, I do enjoy uh, some truckers on YouTube. It's just that I don't find her videos very interesting. From a trucking perspective, that is. <laughs> but I do watch Kalia on YouTube. Not that she releases a lot of videos, but she does every so often. Yeah, Richard, I know. There are all the websites for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, maybe I should start making videos like her and just by coincidence uh, standing in a 45 degree angle so that you can constantly watch my ass as I talk about something very very uninteresting I'm betting you don't even remember what you've talked about in any of our videos uh, mm. <laughs> hi so so hi yay 
for real, Kalia? Are you gonna start live streaming? <laughs> I might actually do a um, at least a thumbnail for an upcoming video showing my ass. Maybe I'm gonna get like a million subscribers if I do that. <laughs> Wait, what? We need Kosovo in ATS. Uh, do a room tour. Um, well, the room isn't big. Uh, I might do that in the future. Uh, but I kind of want to have a dedicated room for this before I do that. <laughs> what do you mean I get a thousand dislikes? You've never seen my ass. <laughs> and don't worry, you'll never see it. I'm not gonna <laughs> release it as a thumbnail. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, when I was younger, I used to have a really nice ass, actually, according to some people. <laughs> no, of course, I haven't seen my ass. <laughs> Hi, David. <laughs> oh, I'm allowed to say whatever I want. I'm divorced. I have nothing to worry about. I uh, gained my freedom again. So uh, it's all good. <coughs> And uh, for the future, um, potential wives watching this live stream, uh, I don't cheat much, if ever, almost never, at all. <laughs> <laughs> ah, moving on, let's talk about something else. <laughs> Gal Cadot, well, she's nice looking. Uh, she's, she's Wonder Woman, isn't she? I think she is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> I did consider it the second time, Carly. I just. Pushing her off the cliff by accident, of course. Otherwise, it would be murdered, and that's horrible. Cheers, guys. Charlize is badass. I really like her. Like, really, really. Uh, she's probably the only actress I could that I ever would like to actually meet uh, because I find her to be a very interesting person. Uh, she's 
between us, keep it to ourselves. She's not the most pretty actress out there. There's a lot of others that are more attracted to from that perspective, but she's definitely the only one of the actresses alive today that I would enjoy spending some time with. For different reasons. <laughs> Hi, v Vigor Gamer. Welcome. <laughs> and David, welcome. Uh, haven't seen me in a while. This is my third live stream this week. Uh, and my second properly working live stream, I should add. Uh, there's not going to be an Ireland DLC, Balkans. Uh, yeah, probably. Apparently you don't like um, uh, Greece much. You want Balkans, but not Greece. The map. Let's have a look at the map. Absolutely. We haven't looked at it in a while. This is a 1 to 10 scale map, so all of this hall was only uh, 300 kilometers or so. Uh, we've been doing this for 15 minutes at least, uh, because it's a 1 to 10 scale map. So, uh, we're going from Valencia to Gandu, and this is the entire map, 1 to 10 scale, all of it, free of charge. And uh, probably doesn't require any map DLCs. Uh, I will drive the... Uh, uh, Romania map again. There's a lot of maps I want to drive on again, but I, I, there's also a lot of map mods that I want to drive on that I haven't driven on in a very long time. Like this one here, since even since 132, I haven't been on this map since 132. Uh, Trucker from Glea, good question. No, I will not. Uh, if you want a map like that, I would suggest you... Uh, well, since, since we're talking about removing uh, Ross, I'm going to say just add EAA, PJ Indo and Australia to the Eurasia map combo uh, in the same places as I have them added in the uh, Global Edition. That will work. Uh, but... To be honest, I'd, I'd prefer to just stop doing the Global Edition entirely. Truth be told, I'm not using the Global Edition personally at all, other for testing. So I drive there a lot, but that's only for testing. Once it's completed, I I never look back. Uh, I prefer the Eurasia Edition. Everything is 1 to 19 scale, everything is exactly or more or less exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, I mean, PJ Indo, it's a fantasy map, Australia, <coughs> it needs an update, and even if it gets one, it's located in the completely wrong place. EAA, it's over the top, it's, it, it deserves a life as a standalone map instead, and, and so does Ross. Uh, I guess I'm one of fewer and fewer pu people who actually enjoy Ross still, but I'm, I mainly do it as a standalone map. Uh, using its traffic, I'm, I'm still removing all the ferries or airplane connections, uh, but I do enjoy it. There's something about it, the atmosphere in, in parts of it that I really like. Of course, there are some horribly looking places there. Same with EAA, but you have that with large map mods. And even though EAA looks huge, Ross is big as well. Keep in mind, it's it's not a 1 to 19 scale map. It's a 1 to 12, uh, 1 to 15 in some places, I think. So it is way bigger than it looks like. Uh, Ghost Rider, my world's longest haul will take place on 139. 
but it's also going to be using ROS. I have to use ROS to make it that long, and I have to use EAA to make it that long. So it, it will still be with those map mods. Um, so, uh, yeah. And I've been talking way too much. I'm apparently going to have to uh, go back again now. I don't know where I went wrong. Let me have a look at the map again. What did I do? Okay. It's not that bad then. Huh? Seriously? I'm confused. <laughs> Was I going in the wrong direction? <laughs> um, I'm not really sure what happened there. Uh, but I'm going to trust the GPS for this. Uh, but I'm totally confused. <laughs> it might be a bug with a map, who knows. Xperia, what are you talking about? Is there a chance that Rossmap will ever work with Pro Mods again? It's been working for ages. What do you... Oh, uh, do you mean if they will cooperate? Uh, they kind of do, Xperia. <laughs> well, I'm just going to follow the GPS and see where it takes me. Okay, so it might need some uh, DLCs then. Um, I wasn't really sure about that. So, but... Uh, as long as it doesn't need the newest DLCs, uh, there's a higher chance that people actually have them, so uh, it's all good, I guess. That's very specific. Do it with an Iveco Stralis E6 with a 570 horsepower engine. Uh, <laughs> why a 570 horsepower engine? Hi, Jenda. Welcome to Estradas do Brasil. Well, I might do something with a Mercedes 1113 tomorrow. Who knows? I would also like to go back to ATS and do some more hauling there. It was kind of fun doing that yesterday. Uh, how's the stream today, by the way? Do we have 1440p today? I hope we have 1440p today. I think we should have 1440p today. Hi, Ivan. Uh, I know how to not say it, Abby. Do not say adios, amigos. <laughs> uh, seriously, Kalia, no 1440p. Well, I'm going to have a look at that again tonight then. Thanks, Kalia. Uh, um, I thought it was a problem with the streaming key from yesterday. I triple checked it today, so it shouldn't be a problem, but apparently it it doesn't work for some reason. Well, I'm, I'm going to figure that out for tomorrow's stream then. Activation key for what? This map mod doesn't need a re activation key. Uh, even this is a 1 to 10 scale map. <laughs> what?
Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Ragav. No one is give, gonna give you the key for ETS2. Uh, but if you wanna buy the game, it's available on Steam. <coughs> Does that ever work? Just asking on a random stream, please give me a key for ETS2. <laughs> I have my doubts. <laughs> Be nice, guys. Be nice. Hi, Fred. No one is going to give you a key, Ragav. Stop asking. There is no point in asking. You're not going to get a key. <laughs> like Arby said. Alex, for God's sake. <laughs> ETS 2 139 has been out for an hour. <laughs> Hi, Malta. <laughs> um, both for ATS and for ETS2 I will create map combos temporary map combos for the beta version uh, very soon uh, next week I'll do that uh, even number one map that comes to mind is um, uh, Grand Utopia you're just you're just gonna have to use that one period uh, it is the most beautiful map mod ever created and honest to god I do believe that SES should hire that guy my godness uh, the map is unbelievably beautiful Ghost Rider, drop it, please. It makes no sense. I don't think he understands anyway. Harsh versus Siberia, if you can get your hands on it. Ghost Rider. Uh, final warning for you then. Stop doing that, please. Oh, that's my exit. Uh, universal version of Murmansk. Uh, no, I don't think that's going to happen, Xperia. Uh, but I do have an agreement that uh, when combined with um, Pro Mods, uh, Pro Mods Murmansk will be used. I'm not going to go into the politics, but it is... <sighs> um, well, as it is currently, it's, it's like... It's going to be a war soon <laughs> uh, no one's happy with the current agreement uh, except perhaps pro mods uh, all I'm gonna say about it is that I wish that everyone would do like the Russians have done because they have divided the country between them so <clears throat> they've already decided which parts of Russia that Rust map should work on, which part of Russia that uh, Volga map and all the other map mods, should, Siberia mod should work on uh, so they, that they don't interfere with each other. And the benefit for us is of course that it's very obvious where they need to create the road uh, connections. And I just wish that everyone else could use their example 
uh, and do the same thing. But unfortunately, as it is right now, that's not going to happen. Oh, Olaf, welcome. Ah, Jesus. Stop watching the chat. Watch the road instead, you moron. I'm going to have a quick look at the map again. See where we are. Well. I must have gone... Oh, I know what I did. We started here in Yaguquara. Oh, I know exactly what I did. It's not a problem with the GPS. We started here. I went down here and then I should have turned... Uh, left to go to Valenza. Obviously, I went to Gondu instead. Uh, I'm not going to talk to politics and agreements with Promos here. I don't work for Promos and I don't work for Rusmap. Let's just say that the... Uh, current agreement uh, doesn't limit it to Murmansk. That's all I'm going to say about it. There used to be a um, agreement that said Murmansk only. But the current says intentions are to uh, stop at Murmansk, but at the same time Promos also says that if someone on their team want to map something else, they're free to do that. So there isn't really an agreement there. Eastern Express. Yeah, I'm going to revisit that map again. Uh, it's been a while since I was there and it's absolutely incredible. I really love that map. <clears throat> uh, I think we should all drive on Grand Utopia and in Russia. Russia is a very interesting place to haul on, I think. <coughs> Yeah, Promos Canada is going to be very interesting. I really look forward to that. Promos Canada and Maw Map. A new map of Africa would be very nice. And of course, having a... Uh, let's call it newer version of Canada than Canada Dream is, uh, is something I very much look forward to. Uh, Nenad, my map combos doesn't include uh, any specifically, you know, uh, any any sound mods at all. So uh, no. Damn, 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 damn! This isn't gonna work. Yeah, and, and that's fantastic news, Olaf, and I just wish more people or more teams would do that. Whoa! <clears throat> Let's see, Carl is here, so I need to do this properly, and I should use the internal camera, of course, but... I'm not that good at it, so um, I'm going to use the external camera. And I can't look at the chat right now, I'm very focused on this. It is her truck and trailer, of course, so I need to be careful. 
And I think that's good enough. Uh, nothing happened with the GPS. It was me. I took a wrong turn at some point. Took me a long time to discover it, though. <clears throat> there we go. Two hundred and sixty four kilometers. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, let's have a look at the map again. So we are in Valencia, and I really like to do this here and this, and probably that. So I think for now, I think we're gonna have to find something perhaps that takes us from Valencia to. Uh, well, I could go to Salvador or Kamakari, perhaps even. Um, actually, <laughs> I have a, I have to still to discover most of the map anyway, so it doesn't really matter where we go, as long as we don't go to Yaguara. Estradas de Yaguara? I don't know. Uh, let's see if we can find some cargo. To, whoops, let's focus in Valencia. That's makes everything a lot easier we're not going to pick anything here uh, let's see from yaguquara then no 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 actually yes i guess but no no uh, okay from salvador uh, my maybe no too short These are zero tons. Uh, Fretter Vetorno, I don't know what that means. How about Jaquiti? Let's see. Gondu. That could work. Uh, that could work, I guess. That could work. Mm, not impressed. Why do all of them go to the same places close by? Give me something longer. Uh, no, 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 too short. Come on. Mm. Okay, let's try this then. That'll work. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> what I definitely don't need is more hamburgers. There's more in, than enough of them inside this body. Plan Alto. Uh, let's see, somewhere over here. Nope. There. So let's pick it up. Uh, there it is. Anything else here that's interesting? No. 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 Okay. So, 30 tons of beverages. <laughs> I, d I do not wish to uh, become an American or look like an American from that perspective. Thank you very much. I'm perfectly fine looking more European from that perspective. How do I use the camera? What do you mean? How do I use the camera? Um, the webcam or... Are you referring to uh, my head turning like this? Uh, head is turning due to me using something called uh, Toby Eye Tracker 5. Ooh. 
Oh, the flying cam. Uh, darn it. I didn't put up a link to my video on how to use, uh, how to teleport. Uh, if you go to my playlist, uh, FAQ uh, uh, playlist, there's a video there explaining to you how you can teleport or uh, change time of day and things like that, change traffic. Um, so watch that video, it's going to explain to you how you do that. You need to activate the um, developer mode uh, and, and use the tilde key a lot. But I'm going through that in the video, hopefully. Um, that video will help you understand how to do it. <laughs> Get a salad and fruit. Uh, Ghost Rider, I'm not that uh, European. <laughs> I took the wrong turn. Fantastic. Oh, this is definitely heavier than the last cargo. Uh, Nenad's FFB settings, you mean graphic settings? I did a video on that too, also in the FAQ uh, playlist. <laughs> no, I don't use Track IR, I'm using uh, Toby Eye Tracker 5. Now that I've been using it for a couple of months, uh, it is the best device I've ever had. Honest to God. What am I doing? I swear to God, I'm going to change the name of that playlist to FAQ only. Uh, as it is right now, it's called, called uh, FAQ and um, some other things that I've completely forgotten about. It has a very long name as it is right now. <coughs> Hi Ong, welcome. Well, Kalia is now an administrator. Not that it's helping because she hasn't banned anyone yet. Just uh, give it a little more time. She will probably ban someone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yep, that's me. I'm a god. <laughs> There's one thing I'm missing about the truck, Kalia. I don't know if you noticed it yourself, but I, I like this side of the truck. But it's rather different from this side of the truck. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> um... Maybe it's something that you're not missing when you're using the truck. Maybe there's some additional mods to it. It's deliberate? Uh, please elaborate. Why is it deliberate on the truck but not on... Oh, it's different on the trailer as well. I didn't... Huh. 
Well, shouldn't you have the globe then put on the other side of the truck? Just the globe? Hmm. Uh, yes. Uh, no, I didn't do a video on... Did I do a video on, on how to... You made a guide about for those who not have Toby 4C or 5 and instead use webcam and download head tracker software. Did I do a video on that? I don't think I did. Well, thank you for that information, Carlio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> honest to God, Eggman, I can't remember me doing that. It must have been a long time ago. But I guess that if I did it, you'll probably find a link to it in the FAQ playlist. <laughs> Hi, Christian. Welcome, and if you're enjoying the stream, guys, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe as well, God damn it! And thank you for being here. <laughs> Hang on, there's one thing I'm gonna have to change uh, before we continue, because it's starting to annoy me. Uh, actually, one of the settings here... Uh Let's see, it's this one here. There we go. Yeah, 0 0.02. Much better, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it should be 0 0.04, I can't remember. Uh, I know that I've done a video on iTracker 4C and another one on 5 and a third one on how to extend the value of 4C and 5. Uh, I do know that I've made those. Um, and for the record, I am using Toby iTracker 5 even on, um, on Flight Sim 2020. I've been doing that since day one. And that is what my second video on iTracker 5 is about. New engine sounds for the Volvo on 139. Uh, Ghost Rider. <laughs> iTracker 9. Uh, I, I hope I'll be able to do that. Um, just need it to be released first. Oh, close. I want the um, Scania truck that doesn't require a driver. Look at that sign there, RC Brazil. Uh, I don't know why. Apparently there's some um, cooperation between uh, Estrada's Drew Brazil and RC Brazil.
Uh, okay, so I did that during my second video on Toby iTracker 5. Uh, then it was just information about it. It works with all other trackers as well, I guess. Um, because I still have it here somewhere, my IR tracker. But seriously, since I got my iTracker 5, I haven't touched it once. <coughs> yes, Uffe, uh, Bang & J has a extensive list of different head and eye trackers and where to uh, find them and buy them and <coughs> <coughs> even information on how to create your own head tracker. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, no, there's no point. <laughs> well, f well, there is absolutely a point uh, using ETS2 with that Scania truck. I mean, I wouldn't crash for once. Uh, that would be nice. I would be in time. I would um, be able to spend more time in the chat with you guys. <laughs> I see a lot of benefits from using that truck in ETS2. <laughs> Kosovo on ATS still doesn't make sense, Eggman. <laughs> Thanks, Bengan. So there it is. That's Bengan's extensive list of different tracking devices and a lot of information about how to use them. Highly recommended. Yeah, I'm not ashamed of it. This is Collier's truck. I even had to add that manually. Uh, but I'm doing so proudly. This is Collier's truck. And we should all be grateful uh, that I'm using it in this stream. If it hadn't been for her, I would probably be using another Scania, so... Um. Unfortunately, or actually, Brazil on ETS2 makes a lot of sense. For four years we only had ETS2, we didn't have ATS. And a ton of maps were started working on, on ETS2 prior to the release of ATS. So if anyone's to blame for all the Brazilian maps being for ETS2, it's it's SCS. Um, there's an easy solution to that. Make a truck simulator, period. Don't call it Euro or American. Just put them together and call it truck simulator. Make all the currently available map mods uh, uh, compatible with that version, both the ETS2 and ATS maps, compatible with a new truck simulator, and problem is solved. <laughs> to all real truckers out there, that's the Scania truckers, of course, don't worry. Still, it's Scania in my heart. Hi Ivan! Doing very well, thank you very much. How are you doing? I think you have to do that, Eggman. It's gonna be hard finding or convincing others to do a Kosovo map for you. <laughs> no, you're right about that. No one is gonna do it. Unless you do it. That long line road, would that be uh, Dalton Elliott Highway? I'm not gonna go back to Dalton Elliott Highway in probably at least a year. <laughs> well, we talked about that before, Ghost Rider. We're not gonna call it World Truck Sim because we're not gonna limit it to the Earth. 
Let's just call it Truck Simulator, so that you can create a map of Mars, if you like. Welcome back, Mango. You didn't miss much, Mango. Uh, still haven't teleported, still haven't crashed. Took a wrong turn at some point, but that doesn't count. Uh, I haven't seen it being tested, uh, Trucker Frangle. Uh, I know about it. And hopefully we will have the 770 S and R in ETS2 as well, but no, I haven't seen any testing of it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to... I mean... I'm gonna have to deliver this truck back to Kalia after the stream, and I... I don't want it to be damaged when I deliver it back to her. So I'm gonna try to do everything properly today. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm gonna crash in 3, 2, 1. Plus 1. <laughs> uh, well, there. <laughs> well, there's other reasons why I don't want to crash it too. Uh, this is a precious truck. I'm gonna be careful. Salute, uh, Ovidio Grunschweig. Welcome. Beat Nation Executive, welcome to you as well, and everyone else who just joined. If you're enjoying the stream, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. God damn it. And uh, let's have fun. No, it's not R770, it's 770R. Oh, here's my exit. Seriously, come on. Salute, uh, Costal, what's new? Uh, Estrellas do Brazil, welcome. 1 to 10 scale, free of charge map, standalone. And uh, the best Volvo I've ever driven. Seriously, uh, it's a Volvo I literally have been wanting to drive for a year now. This is by Amara? Maybe it is, I don't know. I'm gonna take your word for it. Welcome to by Amara. I've never... <laughs> I didn't know I always neglect Andorra. Do I? <laughs> uh. 
Yeah, I could turn on the GPS sounds. Um, that would be quite annoying on some maps. <laughs> yeah, this is, by the way, also the very first time ever I'm using a private truck on uh, any of my live streams. So, um, it's a double honor for me. Uh, it is a truck that I've been wanting to uh, to actually use for a year now, and here it is. Only thing that could top this is a certain uh, Scania LB76 that pops up uh, pictures of it from time to time on the SCS forum. Uh, also private looks really really good uh, but again it, oh, it's private so uh, mm. <laughs> yeah as long as I'm happy with both the interior and the exterior mango I'm basically ready to pay whatever <laughs> Um, uh, I'm starting to wonder if I'm going to regret this one day. <laughs> but I guess I'm covered. I'm just going to say I'm never, ever happy with it, so I don't have to pay. Hi, Thomas. And uh, Steve, I'm using the 650 horsepower version of it. Let me just quickly go back into the settings one last time and change that number to 0 0.04 instead of 2. Uh, there we go. Because it's getting very difficult to hold my head still enough. Yeah, if XPS made the uh, LB76, that's the, to me at least, that's the most iconic Scania truck ever created. Honest to God, I can't think of any other Scania trucks that I love more than that truck. Alex, if you couldn't get a job to work, there's either something you forgot to add in the correct order, you're missing a mod, or you're using a mod in the wrong version. Um, or you're using additional mods. Awesome truck. Really awesome truck. Uh, Costal. Uh, AA issues on DX11 that we had when 136 was released has been solved a long time ago. Uh, Olaf, uh, yeah, you totally missed me doing a perfect run so far. <laughs> I 
and boredom. <laughs> Mango, you would be surprised. <laughs> uh, Adriel, welcome. I have no idea what audio videos the drink means, but um, you're welcome anyway. Uh, if you could. Post that in English instead, I'd appreciate that. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Olaf, but there's not going to be any teleporting other than f just to take another job. And there's definitely not going to be any crashes on this stream. Uh, can't do that to Kalia's truck. Darkness Eagle, welcome, sir. Thank you for being here. Nice having you aboard. And that reminds me, it's time for me to once again repeat that we're doing a convoy on ATS on December 6th. And I'd appreciate if you could all sign up for the convoy. Uh, there is a link for that in the video description. We're going to need 100 people to sign up. Uh, ASAP so that we can order a private server for the event uh, no DLCs are required for this first Wombat con Convoy on ATS uh, so uh, please sign up and please do so ASAP Again, we're doing 54 tons, I think it is, in total, so it's it's quite heavy. Oh! What are you talking about? Buffering rip FPS? I'm looking at the stream right now and it is perfect. Thank you, Thomas. You morons. I've already had one heart attack because of the <laughs> buffering issues this week. I don't need another one. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't fall for it. I have the entire stream up above me. I can see very well when it starts to buffer. I'm confident that the problem is solved forever. Until the next update of Windows 10, of course. Hi, Win Frank. Welcome. Well, when you say it buffers, I just take a quick look up there, see that everything is working. And, uh, yeah. 
I'm doing very well. Thank you very much, uh, Win Frank. How are you doing? From Ume. Yeah, Costal, either bring that to the Discord server or go to the, uh, if you're on an NVIDIA card, uh, I highly recommend you use the uh, row extended forum. Um, very cold already? You guys have snow in Ume yet? Uh, I'm not using no slow, plus five. Yeah, that is cold, uh, but it's also not very cold. Uh, long from where, I've, very far from where, what we have here in Stockholm. We're at like ten degrees in the morning now. Uh, why is there no navigation in center console of this truck? Well, I have a navigation over here, but this is a private mod. It's uh, not a standard truck. Evidently, it's not a standard truck. Oh, here we go again. You're from Liverpool, uh, Win Frank, and moved to Uma despite hating snow. What were you thinking? <laughs> In Uma, they have snow like eleven and a half out of twelve months. Not really, but close enough. <laughs> Uh, the dolly on this truck, uh, well, it's uh, it's a mod created by a professional trucker who just happens to have IRL a truck just like it. So I'm gonna say the dolly works perfectly on this truck. That's a true story, by the way. Uh, the the thing about the trucker having a truck exactly like this IRL. Uh, Costal, I have the game set to uh, 1440p. So, um, HDR times 2. Uh, sorry, Frank, there's zero possibilities of getting that link, uh, at least on, at least on this, um, at least on this, uh, live stream, uh, the truck is private, at least for now. No, crazy mango, we can't. <laughs> We cannot go back to talk about me, my ass. I think this truck RL would set you back about 250,000 euros. I wouldn't call that a poor man's <laughs> truck. Uh, no, Thomas, this is a standalone map. There's a link to it in the video description. It's available free of charge. 
it's also a uh, 1 to 10 scale map. The one you're thinking about is the RC Brazil. That is an add-on map. Unfortunately, you can't combine it with uh, either China map nor uh, EAA. But I was actually thinking about doing a live stream of RC Brazil tomorrow because today we're doing uh, Brazil with tarmac roads only. And tomorrow we could actually do a live stream of Brazil with more or less 100% gravel roads instead. So, um... Well, I do, 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 oops, <laughs> I do have a sat nav there. <laughs> well, Jensem, I've done a couple of videos on tandems. Uh, there's, there's basically two different or three different types of tandems. You have uh, the most the easiest one to use probably Fleming and then you have a lot of mods like like this one uh, with all of it built into just the mods and uh, then you have the um, cost version of it which in my opinion is the except for this truck of course uh, the best way of doing it but it's also the most difficult uh, just setting it up for a Scania truck would require you to add like six, seven different mods just to get to all this. Uh, but it's well worth it. Well, it's not a factory installed satnav. No, Xperior, just talk to Kalia. It's her. It's her mod, not mine. <laughs> you're trying to create an argument with someone who can't answer the question you're asking. <laughs> uh, yeah, a map of India. I'd love to see a proper map of India. There's a like 200 different maps of Indonesia and uh, there's been a couple of maps on India as well whoa it's getting really dark hang on let's see we well we're there I'm not gonna change it we're there uh, but I do wish someone would create a proper Indian map 1 to 19 scale add on map with India located actually in India uh, Win Frank I did a video <laughs> on that too how to uh, how to add the uh, cast mods in the correct order so um... ah so there we have it. The reason the GPS is up where it is is probably because of the uh, field of view she's using when driving. I'm guessing uh, she's probably using something like that, perhaps. Maybe even that. I don't know. Uh, but that's a little too much for me. I'm going to go back to there. Uh, over here, perhaps. No, that isn't right. Thank you, Stig, and uh, and welcome. Appreciate that. Where the hell am I supposed to deliver this thing? Hang on, I'm gonna take a look. Obviously not there. Not there. Uh, 
Aha! There. Uh, Ghost Runner, I'd love to do that, except the fact that I can't land the 747-8. Uh, Turn. There we go. So another 277 kilometers done. Uh, I think we have time for at least one more hole. Uh, let's have a look at the map first. So covered quite a lot. So what I want now is something from here to either somewhere around here or somewhere around there. Uh, let's see what we can find. Hi mode. And you know, saying hi once is more than enough. <laughs> uh, it's all to the wrong place. No, 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 no. Why? It's like all the cargo is afraid of boldly exploring something new. Now I can only do something in this area because I haven't seen that area before, I'm afraid. Uh, seriously. No, no, no. And these are just crazy. These are zero tons and uh, I just happen to know they don't work. Uh, let's try this then. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Why is it so damn hard finding something? Okay, maybe I... Okay, let's try this then. No, no. She... I could do that. Not that. Um, fine, let's do this then. No, that's one of those damn zero-ton thingies. I don't know what that is, if that is some kind of uh, bug caused by the trailer we're using, or if it's uh, something with the map itself, can't really say, but there are some of these zero-ton cargoes, and what happens if you try to use them? It literally takes you 12 hours to load the truck. And um, once you then press escape, the game crashes. Uh, I tried it already. So we're not going to do that. Uh, I guess I'm just going to have to... Um... Let's see, we had something else here. Let's try that. Finding cargo is, is very difficult. Finding cargo that goes in the direction I want to go in. Uh, 
thinking. No. Okay, let's do it attempt to Salvador then. Wow, that's a very bright gas station. Okay, I'm just going to park here and see where that takes us. That's a very, very bright. I've never seen such a bright um, gas station before. This is it, perhaps. Uh, yeah, you're late on that, Olaf. So let's see. It's it's ten o'clock in the evening, so we're going to change the time to. Um, uh, let's see. Um, Oh, four instead. Whoops. Uh, because by the time my cargo has been loaded, it should be around six in the morning and full daylight. And there's no way I'm going to park there. Okay, it's not not quite uh, daylight yet. Let's get out of here and see if we can change that. So maybe change it to six in the morning. There we go. Should be enough. I won't use this truck tomorrow if we're hauling on uh, RC Brazil and the reason for that is that RC Brazil is basically gravel roads and there will be damage and I don't want to damage this truck as I said with your scout group mango <laughs> you're nine I thought you had to be 13 to get YouTube. <laughs> People still do scouts. Hmm. Well, I'm going to take a field trip to Valhalla. Well, someone first have to make the map to Valhalla. <laughs> Alaikum salam, Dr. Mr. Jedovic. Welcome. Uh, 
Uh, there's a new update to the old Mercedes 1682. Um, could you post a link to it, Ivan, on the Discord server? I'd appreciate that. Uh, if it is the... Um, what's his name? Uh, it's been so long since I used it. Um, RB Mods or whatever his name was. Uh, equalizer? No, uh, <laughs> no, Ivan. I'm not gonna use the equalizer mod. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would only be disappointed if I did. <laughs> oh, here we go again. <laughs> For the record, I'm grateful for what Equalizer and Cyrus the Virus do. Uh, but that doesn't mean I have to use their mods. Hi, Cruz. Yeah, I mean, we have to be uh, grateful for what I do. Uh, mango what I do doesn't mean that you have to use it so I see a lot of people saying bad things about different map mods and and trucks for that matter and I always feel like well why you do that I mean it's totally optional to use the mod if you don't like it then don't use it what we do instead many times is we trash their work and the only thing you accomplish by doing that is making them feel bad and perhaps stop improving their work. It's much better to just encourage them to continue and say no thank you I won't use it. So I mean worst thing that could happen is that they one day evolve enough to create something superb that you want to use worst case they will continue to distribute and and, and um, create mods you don't want to use but hopefully sometimes at least they end up doing some fantastic work instead Uh, Dr. Mr. Jedjovic, thank you very much for that like and subscription. Thank you, I really appreciate that. Well, who knows? It might happen one day that Cyrus creates the LB76 that I want to haul in. <laughs> it could happen. We don't know, do we? That's a beautiful morning. That skybox there looks fantastic. <coughs> yeah, I want more like that. Yeah, parking these things, backing them up, that's pretty hard, Win Frank. Um, but I've seen um, some people are able to do it. <laughs> Even you could do it, Mango. <laughs> It's an equalizer, so I'm gonna say thank you, but no thank you, Ivan, with all due respect. Um, uh, well, maybe the update uh, makes the interior look better, uh, 
but uh, it was the old one wasn't to my liking. <laughs> Talking about skyboxes, parents, welcome. Hi Richard, welcome to you as well. And to everyone else who just recently joined, thank you for being here. If you're enjoying the stream, please give me a thumbs up if you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. God damn it. Um, I think you're referring to the uh, Australian trucks there, Vin Frank. 222 meters is a lot longer than you're allowed to haul in Sweden. <laughs> I knew you meant 22 meters. <laughs> Move it, get out of my way. Or don't. Hi RJ, yes this is very much a mod truck. Uh, a frustrating one because it is actually private. Uh, oof, that's not very nice asking a lady how long her truck is. That's correct, Richard. Um, Pro mods will have to update to version 2.51 or something. Uh, before we can use it on 139. <laughs> what do you mean, so dirty minded? There are certain things you don't ask a lady her age, the length of her truck, <laughs> the size of her cargo. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. <laughs> 23 meters in total, you're just bragging. It doesn't look like it's 23 meters long. And besides, it's not the length, it's how you drive it that counts. So I've heard. <laughs> you didn't miss anything, Perid. I'm speeding. Shouldn't do that. <laughs> oh, it's real cargo. Thanos! <laughs> ah, I'm dying there. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> uh, give me two seconds. <laughs> I need to pour some more water. I definitely need more water now. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm following the rules this time. I haven't crashed once. No unnecessary teleporting. And a couple of times I've actually teleported. Uh, where 
legal teleports <laughs> and I didn't drop the truck from uh, <laughs> 3,000 feet. And I poops cubes. So I'm a proper wombat. <laughs> any of you said have any of you seen Little Britain, the comedy show? I'm a lady. <laughs> uh, it's what comes to mind. Anyway. Unfortunately, Little Britain is no more. I just love that show. There's a couple of things I'm never gonna forget about that show. It's, but I'm a lady. And the computer says no. And um, yeah, but I'm a pity, pity, pity. Uh, whatever. Betsy, was that her name? Yeah, but I mean, but but he, but but I, but but I, but I. That was kind of funny too. Yeah, Blender is originally created by uh, Australian wombats. And I too installed Blender once, saw that cube, and what the hell am I gonna do with that? And then I uninstalled it. Unlike Kalia, who saw that cube and thought, hey, I can make a truck out of this. I have no idea how you do that. No, I actually installed it, and I, I've, I've, honest to God, I tried to do something with that cube, and I couldn't. Uh, that description kind of works on me, Frank. Uh, unless, except the naturally very shy. I wasn't born very shy. Um, and I'm not known to becoming very friendly either. But, um, and I'm not very obstinate either. Uh, but once my mind uh, makes up itself, once I make up my mind on something, I go for it. <laughs> oh, so there's the recipe for Blender. You add a cube, chip away everything that doesn't look like a truck. <laughs> it's that easy. Uh, yes, Perry, I'm gonna say that is correct. But it also comes with a lot of things you won't find on a normal SES truck like like that Queen of the Roads I thought I was gonna crash into something
Nope, 73 Thanos. <laughs> thank you, Vision. And um, thank you, Kalia, for allowing me to use it for this live stream. I really, really, really appreciate that. Um, Kalia knows this already. I wasn't lying. I've been wanting to use this truck for a year now. Uh, I still have that email somewhere asking for for it. <laughs> and here it is. I'm sorry to hear that Volvo is your favorite truck, Super Kid. You're obviously wrong. It sh you should have said Scania is my favorite truck. But this Volvo is very nice too. Isn't Saiken getting kind of old, Thanos? Yeah, of all the Soviet area trucks out there, Zil is my favorite too, Perid. Oh, that's tight. So I'm going to ignore the chat for a little bit, because this time I want to do it using the internal camera instead. See if I can do it properly. I honestly thought I wouldn't make it on the first... I thought I would have to back it up, but... Hmm. Well, I didn't have to. So it's only... Well, it's not even 8 o'clock. I was gonna say we're gonna do one more haul one more one final haul let's see what we have uh, it's those zero ton things but we have this um, let's see Salvador no 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 maybe no so I'm thinking that'll do. Oh, it's one of those zero ton things. God damn it. No. Yes. Yes, that'll be perfect. Thank you very much. We're going to do that. Carne bovina, whatever that is. My favorite truck in ATS of the ones that SCS has provided has got to be the uh, Mack truck anthem. You know what? Screw this. I'm going to just teleport it over there. Uh, I really like Mack trucks. The Titan is probably my favorite, but... Um, that isn't available as an SES truck, at least not yet. The Austra Australian version, by the way, for the record. I think this is where I'm supposed to be.
Yeah, XPS Frightliner is great too. Everything XPS does is great. And there are some other paid models as well for ATS that is really nice. Thank you for loving your face. Can further to the left today. Why don't you try speaking English instead, Thanos? <laughs> Uh, let's see, Carne Bovina, 28 tons, 335 kilometers, last haul of the day. Okay. Since this is the last haul of today, I'm gonna try to park it properly. And this isn't gonna be easy either. And the K100. No, 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 no. That didn't work. No, wrong. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing right now. Hang on, I, I need to see where I am. Oh, there I am. Okay. Oops. No, I'm gonna have to do the external camera for this. Why is that so hard? Damn it. It's so difficult. <laughs> oh, I hate this. Why didn't I just... Why did I say I wanted to do it properly? I shouldn't have. Should have kept my mouth shut. Is that a wall? That is a wall. Okay. No way around. Hold my water. Closer. <laughs> One more try.
Come on, turn in, but not too much. No, 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 this is all wrong. But I finally made it. I know you didn't get to see it. I should have done it slower. But I actually made it. So I'm quite happy with that. Why is it turned this way? First truck I ever rode in was a 19, in 1976. It was a Mack Cruise Liner, nice truck that your uncle drove. Hooked on trucks right there and then, especially Max. I have no problem understanding why. I mean, people like Kenworth and things they're very macho, but mm, the real badasses to me is the Mack trucks. <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna say your uncle was pretty um, proud of you deciding there and then to become a trucker. Hi, right, look, so. Welcome to uh, Estradas do Brasil. No, not Vodovia's Estradas do Brasil. I'm pretty sure it's Estradas do Brasil. EBR. Uh, Rodovias do Brasil is RBR. That's not a map. <laughs> Hi, Korea. <laughs> and thank you. I'm not, but thank you. Well, come on then. Let's get moving. And the next one. Come on, come on, come on. We're all gonna make it. Come on. Yes. Estradas is Portuguese. Well, the map, they speak Portuguese in Brazil. True that, Ivan, but if you go to the uh, um, EBR link in the video description, it's actually called there, Estradas do Brazil. Probably because Rodovia's uh, do Brazil or RBR is a completely different map mod. Ducky isn't here, Thanos. And um, you're gonna have to talk to Kalia about that. <laughs> or maybe not. I didn't even try. Um, since this is Kalia's truck, I wanted to use it as a proper Kalia truck, including the front there. Uh, so that is why I'm driving in a truck that says Queen of the Road. Uh, if no one currently here is Brazilian, that's just because they left. There has been Brazilians here, at least. Thanos! <laughs> uh, 
I'm not going to argue with you, Ivan. You're probably absolutely correct that Rodovia and, and Estradas is the same thing. It's just that there is already an RBR map, so uh, probably that's why they went for the Estradas instead. <coughs> I actually think the map I'm planning on hauling on tomorrow, if it's working on 139, is called Vodovia's C something, I can't remember, Brazil, RC Brazil. Uh, which is 90% gravel roads. Uh, speaking of, <laughs> there's a there's a banner for it. RC Brazil. Mapa RC Brazil dot com dot BR. That's a paid mod, by the way. I wonder if it's the same guys doing the um, uh, EBR map that also works on the RC Brazil map. I wonder if that is why they um, have several RC Brazil signs up on this map. Uh, I guess the reason for that would possibly be because RC Brazil is devoted, I'm gonna say, to uh, to gravel roads uh, so um, yeah <laughs> and 10% streets it's a fantastic map it's it's too bad it is paid and therefore uh, for a lot of people difficult to get their hands on because it's a very interesting map to hold on Uh, it's a very beautiful map. I really like it. Unfortunately though, even though it is or can be used as an add-on map, it doesn't play well with my map combo. None of them actually, so um, I'm not using it as an add-on map. I'm using it strictly as a standalone map. Yeah, RC Brazil has both a Facebook page and a web page. So I guess on the Facebook page, you could go on <laughs> full signature attack if you like. <laughs> um, I doubt it would help, but it could be worth a try. One thing I would like to see a uh, Uh, a uh, fight for is uh, there's another Brazilian map called Mapa El Dorado El Dorado um, I paid for it many moons ago and I've completely stopped using it because these days uh, they are using an application. You have to download an application to your PC and that application then automatically upstate, updates the map to the latest version. And there's no way I'm ever going to install an app to get a map downloaded. That's never, ever, ever going to happen. So I haven't used Mapa Eldorado in like 
since 134 or something. That's when they introduced that app. And I just hate it. It's... It, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it isn't Shade 8, to be honest. To be fair, they have thousands of players. And evidently all of them use that application so i'm pretty sure there's nothing shady about it but it's just it's just me i'm not gonna do that there's no way i'm gonna install an application to be able to download a newer version of a map um, but it's it's interesting that they did it because they, they they had the best intentions i'm guessing because you will automatically get the updates from what i understand if you use that map mod sorry that uh, application but mm, send me an email telling me there's a new version. That's all I need. Good evening, Laws. Uh, Vombatia map, Ivan. <laughs> um, my godness is. Uh, licensing uh, the um, the Vombatia Google Maps images so in reality uh, Grand Utopia is actually Vombatia but he didn't get a license for the city names of Vombatia so he just made up new names or something like that <laughs> Uh, true story, I honestly actually thought about making a city names file for Grand Utopia. Just adding uh, the city names of Vombatia to it. But I'm not really sure uh, my godness would have approved of that. I'm not sure he would have liked that, so um, it never happened. Well, I do have a home on the Grand Utopia map, so... Uh, if I've seen the map shared in mod showcase... Uh, I think I have, Perids. I think I, I think I know what map... Uh, sorry, what uh, images you're referring to there. Uh, a couple of days ago, was it? Yesterday, perhaps? Uh, I think I saw them. Some very beautiful images, and I might... I was instantly thinking, that's Grand Utopia, but it wasn't, because it wasn't posted by my godness. Uh, unfortunately, like with every mod or truck by design uh, the cargo actually only ends up in the um, in the trailer however what Kalia did with this truck is that she made it weighing 31 tons just a truck to compensate for that so uh, and I don't think anyone else has thought of that before so that's a first Yeah, that's it. The, the Polish um, uh, fantasy map. He, didn't he even say that it was uh, that it was inspired by Grand Utopia or something? Do I buy my daughter's PCs? Actually, uh, yes and no. I buy half their PCs. Uh, well, my youngest daughter has a laptop. She's not a gamer yet. She's only 10. 
I bought that. My oldest daughter now have a gaming PC. I built it for her. Uh, we configured it together. And I paid for half of it. Her mother paid for the other half. So, yes and no. The only thing my oldest daughter isn't happy with, me neither really, is the graphics graphics card. We're waiting for the 3000 series cards for for her PC. So it's it hurts to say it, but yeah, we're gonna buy her a 3070 card. So her her little PC will be worth or work just as well with most games than my PC does. Uh, the tag lift lower down automatically, that's probably because of my settings. You can set that in game, Richard. There's a setting for that. Um, why would I use Natural Lux 1.38? I wonder. Uh, I don't use any graphics mods ever, except from occasionally uh, the, um, the rain mod forgotten name now uh, horrible weather incredible weather whatever it's called uh, just because offline I don't I know that you don't like it when it rains during my con uh, during my live streams and uh, I don't miss it during the live streams either but every so often I feel like I just need a good golden shower uh, so I use that mod sometimes. No, it not extreme weather. Uh, brutal weather, probably. Yeah, it's brutal rain. Re realistic rain. Realistic rain. Brutal realistic rain. Something. Yeah, that one. Anyway, I use that sometimes. I used it for my ten-hour uh, holding in a circle in Paris video I used it there um, uh, yeah he, he has two versions he has brutal weather and then he has realistic rain I think they're called and I'm not I'm only interested in the rainy part of it so I'm using the uh, the the light version so to speak the rainy version Thank you, Richard. I, I really appreciate you saying that. Uh, the guide itself is getting old, but I'm, I'm referring to the row extended web page. And I hope you use that as well to get the latest and uh, greatest settings. Because they are constantly shifting or changing. And I guess they will be changing again once. What's up with the skybox? <laughs> uh, there's a bug with the skybox there. <laughs> um, but new settings comes becomes available every so often so I'm not updating my video on it uh, I'm just gonna refer you to the row extended forum page Mr. Slavdog, thank you very much. I do enjoy making those map combos. It's hard work, but uh, I really do enjoy it. And uh, I'm going to continue to do it for a very long time, I think. There's another sign for RC Brazil. Uh, I just wish everyone could please watch those videos, like, from the beginning to the end. Because I do think I say a couple of things that might be important. And I also know that the average viewing time of them is like one hour, one hour, one minute and 59 seconds. It's not even two minutes anymore. <laughs> so it, it kind of makes me sad when I see comments like, uh, it only crashes, what should I do? Yeah. Post your game.log on my Discord server. 
please? <coughs> and they're asking those questions, even though I know they have written comments about that during uh, during the time I'm, I'm going through the different mods, the mods list. So evidently people aren't even watching the entire part where I go through the mods list. Thank you, Mr. Slavdog. I'm pretty sure that also helps you eliminate some of the problems that you might otherwise experience. I'm waving a bit. Didn't do that on purpose. For the record, I do not drink. I haven't had a drop of alcohol in almost five years. I decide, decided to take a month off after some <laughs> heavy partying. And, well, that's almost five years ago now. I haven't regretted it once. <laughs> I need to use the external camera when I'm drinking. The truck I'm using is a private mod, um, so the truck and trailer, all of it's private mod by Kalia. I think she went to bed, fell asleep or something, I haven't seen a comment from her in a while. Use the 8 camera. Um. <laughs> oh, slow down. Uh, no, this is a 1 to 10 scale map. It's not a 1 to 1 scale. It's only a 1 to 10 scale. Stig, thank you for being here. Uh, take care, buddy. Woo! Wow. Wrong gear. The Serra do Rio do Tilha. Uh, is that a place on this map, uh, Valderci? <laughs> yeah, that's another thing, Richard. <laughs> um, not that I'm getting old in any way, but when I was a couple of years ago, when I was 25, even better, uh, seven years ago, since eight years ago, when I was uh, 18, uh, I could go to a party and go directly to work, no problem whatsoever. Except I might have been a little drunk when I got to work, but no one noticed. At the age of 25, I needed a couple of hours of sleep before I could go to work. More or less sober, even. And at the age of 40, it took three days to get over it. <laughs> Rio de Rastro is fantastic. Hang on, let's have a look at the map. Rio... Is that a city? Rio de Rastro? Uh, it's... Not. So perhaps it's somewhere on the map then. I would not have any idea where that would be. Anyway, we have another 150 kilometers to do here. That's another 300 uh, kilometers or so. Because this is a 1 to 10 scale map. So uh, another 20 minutes, 15 perhaps. Oh, 
It's on EAA. Santa Catarina. Uh, I've been on quite a lot of EAA, so I might have been there already at some uh, during one of my hauls. Come on, buddy. Come on. Thank you. <laughs> Releasing soon, Perids. Is it? <laughs> Free gaming, thank you. I'm doing very well. How are you doing? Six point oh, hopefully uh in a couple of months after one thirty nine has been released. So you're not talking about Mama, Barrett. Uh 6.0 working on 138. I'm gonna say if 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 I was the creator of anything right now, I wouldn't release it for 138. I would wait for 139. Uh but that's me. I mean, now that we have the beta version out for ETS2 as well, I'm going to say that uh, for five weeks, perhaps, 139 is publicly available. Final version, that is. Yeah, we're going to start all over again, like we always do, twice a year. And now it's time to start all over again with 139. That's That's life. That's just how it works. But of course, as always, I will start working on map combos. Uh, for the beta version, I will start on Monday working on those. You're mapping on 139 already. Yeah, I'm going to install 139 on ETS 2 as well tonight. So, it, you know, it might not be RC Brazil we're holding on tomorrow evening. It uh, depends on whether the map actually works on 139 or not. Hi, Sambir. Uh, there's links to uh, to my Discord server. I strongly recommend uh, you bring it there. Uh, that is at least the only place I'm spending any time on, except for on YouTube, of course. Uh, yes, if the 99, uh, 139 for ETS 2 was released earlier today. So, um, usually four, five, maybe six weeks after it goes beta. Uh, it is upgraded to to final version and released to everyone. The trainers are borked. Well, okay, maybe we should wait a day or two then because I don't need borked trailers on 139 and a live stream. Uh, 
hang on, I'm doing something very wrong here. <laughs> what the hell did I do? <laughs> uh, um, I wonder, I wonder if this is a hidden road. Uh, let's just see what happens. <coughs> Uh, this might be me. No, there it ends. Unfortunately. No, it doesn't. I'm gonna continue. I'm... Let's see if this works. I have no idea if this works. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Yeah, it sure looks like a secret road. I have no idea where it's taking me, but hopefully back onto the road again. Well, worst thing that could happen is that the stream is gonna be 10-15 minutes longer. I hope you're okay with that. Well, this is the first time I actually see a gravel road on the uh, EBR, so that's good. <laughs> to infinity and beyond! Oh god, no, please don't say that it's gonna be that I have to reverse out. I really don't want to reverse out. If this road ends here, I'm just gonna floor it and see if we can jump over to the other side of the map. Yeah, this is actually very nice. I'm a huge fan of gravel roads. I really enjoy gravel roads. So it's it's nice to... I had no idea that um, EBR had gravel roads even. Yeah, EAA is incredibly big. It is the largest map mod ever created. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see if we can do this. it <laughs> so this is definitely a very good reason to buy this map we have a beautiful gravel road 
Yeah, EBS Gamer, uh, we're all aware of it. 139 beta is available now, both for ETS2 and ATS. Thank you. Whoa! Well, that was close. It is a free map, Perid. <laughs> Aha! Look at the map now. <laughs> we made it. Hang on. Are we good? Yeah, we're good. Uh, we're good. Uh, hang on. I'm just checking a couple of things here. Uh, oh, 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 I know, I know. Don't worry. Nothing to worry about. Uh, I know exactly what that was. Uh, thing is, my internet provider texted me yesterday evening and said they were going to do some work on the network today. They also said that they were going to do it between 9 and 10. And um, that would cause some minor disturbances during that hour. And I think they might have started a little bit early. Uh, for a second there, nothing worked. <laughs> uh, but we're back again, everything is working. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to worry about that. I will worry, however, about that possibly happening again for a microsecond or two. Uh, so, uh, sorry about that. Uh, this is, that I know of at least, the first time they've ever done it. So it's not something that is common on my network. Um, but, uh, yeah. They started a little early. Everything seems, at least, to be perfect, on my side, at least. Thank you. There's, there's been some uh, minor problems with the network for the last month or so. I think we spoke about that on on Monday. Sorry, Tuesday. Uh, I said that one thing I suspect is that it could be my internet provider. And if that is the case, I'm going to switch because I have an option of switching to another provider. Same gigabit connection. Um, but a better reputation, I think. Uh, but then on yesterday we discovered that that wasn't a problem. Uh, but the problems I've seen is that my smart TV hasn't been able to... Uh, you start a movie and it plays for like a couple of minutes and then it buffers for a bit and then it continues. And that can happen couple of times during a movie uh, and I think that is the reason why they're doing the updates um, but evidently that problem didn't actually have anything to do with the problems I was having streaming except for now so uh, there might be one or two more of those tiny little disconnections there 
Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully we'll make it to our destination before the next one. <coughs> Casper, my first game of this kind was uh, 18 Wheels of Steel, like like so many others. Um, <laughs> American Trucks in Germany. <laughs> I really liked that game, uh, but I wasn't a huge fan, not like I'm now. Uh, I started being a f huge fan of the game, uh, but and I also played ETS. Uh, and uh, Scania Driver. Wasn't it called Scania Driver? I think it was. Um, but then ETS 2 came out and, and that's when I started playing way more. And I also discovered that I'm, I wasn't that much into uh, racing games anymore. And also I was a, I used to be a huge fan of uh, first-person shooters uh, until the internet came along and everything was supposed to be multiplayer. I really don't. I really hate playing first-person shooters in multiplayer mode. I want to be alone. Thank you very much. I want to kill all the monsters myself. So I stopped doing that, and uh, about five years ago I stopped. Uh, playing racing games entirely and basically decided that this is the game I'm gonna play and a year later ATS come, came along and I bought that and since then it's it's almost only these two games I play I played Doom I played Quake and I played um, uh, not Frankenstein um, that other Stein. <laughs> uh, Birchenstein. God, me and names. I'm really horrible at it. Wolfenstein. Thank you very much. Not the, not the one most of you know from the Jablstein. <laughs> X5 Stein. <laughs> Uh, yes, we have Comhem and we have Telia here, Richard. I'm currently on uh, on uh, Comhem. To me, it doesn't really matter if I'm using uh, uh, either of them. I'll have the same speed on both anyway. So, uh, and, and pricing is basically the same. So... Uh, Either way, but I've, I've I haven't had any problems with Com uh, Comham until, well, a month ago, perhaps when I discovered that my smart TV wasn't playing nice. Um, but hopefully that is what they're fixing tonight. Well, that's one of the problems, Casper with the multiplayer F, uh, FPS games. Another problem is all those people cheating. Uh, maybe that isn't as much a problem today as it used to be. Uh, but that is the reason I gave up on it. When um, Quake 3 came out, it was a huge problem. I tried it a few times and uh, I, I couldn't I could almost not get on the internet and play the game until I was killed for one shot one headshot every time uh, by a guy doing things that you couldn't do unless you were using cheats it was it was flying around literally flying around in the game so um, I gave up on that never looked back bought the uh, Doom 2016, uh, played that for probably 10-12 hours, got bored with it, because it's not the same anymore. <coughs> <coughs> FPS games used to be very easy, no brain activity required. 
You could basically be brain dead and have a lot of fun playing those games. Not anymore. I'm going to assume that's a joke, Cheese and Ham. You're on a pirated version of the game. Um, if you're entitled to support, we will help you on my Discord server. <laughs> okay, so it's a joke then. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe one day they will do a um, 4K version of uh, of the old Doom. I'm probably gonna enjoy that for a few hours. Wait, what? Green Day did a song called Android? Hmm. Don't think I've heard that. Wait, what? Alex, you tested YKS? Why not try, uh, I don't know, Project Turkey instead? <laughs> YKS is getting pretty old. Oh, okay, I see. And for the record, I was never a huge fan of Green Day. I would be surprised if YKS Turkey actually worked on 139, or 138 for that matter. But I do recognize it, I've also called it YKS Turkey for a long time. Gotta go fast, but not faster than the truck in front of you. Is what I'm starting to learn. <laughs> you do that, she's nam. Put it on the Discord server. <laughs> There's also a picture of me next to the Queen of England. Uh, let's see. There it is. I think. Yeah, there it is. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, <laughs> that's not gonna work. <laughs> There's no way that's gonna work. There's no way I can do that. Um, sorry to say. I think. Why would it have to be in front of a trailer? Why not next to it? Seriously? No, 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 no. Ah, 
Ah, close enough. <laughs> I'll never make that. I don't have the patience for it, I think. Uh, so there we have it. Um, and now that trailer is gone and I'm... Bl oh, oh, well, anyway. Anyway. I'm gonna go look in the memes. Jeez, uh, now. And guys, it's almost 9 o'clock in the evening here. So uh, this is it. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna say that this was just another proof that it actually works now. I don't have problems with lag and buffering. Disregard the tiny little problem that we had there. Uh, that was my internet being cut off for just a second. Uh, I'll be back again tomorrow, 6 o'clock, as always. And we're gonna do a map mod I haven't done in a long time. Maybe we're gonna do RC Brazil. Can't really say I need a map mod that works on 139. Maybe RC Brazil does, who knows. In any case, I hope I'm gonna be able to find something interesting for you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much, Kalia, for allowing me to use your beautiful Volvo for this stream. Uh, it's an honor having used it. It's a fantastic truck. For the future, I hope perhaps many others are able to use it as well. Who knows what happens? In any case, thank you very much, Kalia. Uh, and take care, everyone. Good evening. Good night. <laughs> See you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe. Don't forget to um, to join the convoy we're doing. Uh, on the 6th of December this year, 3 o'clock on ATS. No DLCs required. Be there for that. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Oh, oh.